What's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, coming to you today to answer your questions about the LSAT Logic Games section. Specifically, will it be removed? Will it be changed? If so, when? So today, I want to answer as many of those questions as I can. Before I get into them, please do me a favor, a quick request, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. So the LSAT logic game section, why are we talking about this? What's happening? To rewind a few years, back in 2019, the Law School Admission Council settled a lawsuit with Mr. Angelo Bino, a sight-impaired test taker who contended that he could not perform to his fullest potential on the LSAT specifically because he was at a disadvantage on the LSAT logic game section being sight impaired, he was not able to benefit from diagramming the way that other test takers are. The Law School Mission Council ultimately settled the lawsuit and agreed to complete research and development into a new version of the test without the logic game section within the next four years. That lawsuit was settled around the fall of 2019. That is when the Law School Mission Council and Mr. Bino's attorney issued a joint press release, which I will link below this video. The specific language, once again, complete research and development that will enable test takers to take a new version of the LSAT without the current logic game section. That's pretty much what it says. I'll include the specific language below this video along with that link. What this means is that in late 2023, we can expect that there may be an opportunity for students to take a version of the test without the current logic game section. Will it be available? We can't say exactly. That is simply the date at which that research and development will be completed. So again, why are we talking about this today? Because on the June 2022 LSAT, the Law School Admission Council did something unusual. They administered a new, radically different experimental section. Usually, we see a section that looks pretty much the same as any other old section of games, reasoning, or reading comprehension. However, this section was different. The LSAC notified affected test takers right before the section began that what they were about to complete was specifically the experimental. As far as I can remember, LSAC has never done that before. Furthermore, the sample questions, the experimental questions were radically different then the current logic game section, they were shorter, they were a bit easier, they were a bit more like what you might see in a formal logic, logical reasoning question. So it appears that LSAC is beginning that research and development that they must complete within the next year and a half or so as I record this in mid-June 2022. If LSAC is to complete their research by late 2023, well, bureaucracies move slowly, things take time, and LSAC, you know, if nothing else, they are perfectionists, so they really do want to get that new logic games-like section right, which means they've got to take plenty of time to work on it. So those experimental questions that they administered on this past Saturday, affecting roughly 4,000 test takers... That might be the beginnings of that research and development into a new version of the test without the current logic games section. LSAC seemed especially interested in surveying affected test takers about whether they used diagrams to solve these bizarre logic game style questions. To what extent were those diagrams helpful to students in solving those questions? I would imagine that LSAC is looking to develop a new version of the logic game section where the questions that students receive would not significantly be, or in other words, that the question students complete would not be made any easier by using a diagram. In other words, these would be logic game style questions, except you would be able to do them in your head so that whether you were sight impaired or not, you would not be at any disadvantage from not being able to use a diagram. In fact, LSAC might be moving away from scratch paper altogether in an effort to even the playing field for all test takers, sight impaired or not. 
in an effort to comply with the terms of their settlement agreement and uh, inoculate themselves against any future potential lawsuits that they might face. So if you are applying to law school this fall or next fall, the big question is, do you study logic games? Do you study as you would otherwise, or should you maybe de-emphasize logic games in your study regimen? I want to encourage everyone watching and listening right now, if you are listening or watching this, or listening to or watching this anytime in the next six to 12 months, I would recommend strongly that you stick with your current prep regimen. Do not de-emphasize logic games. LSAC, once again, they move slowly, they move deliberately, and they will announce any changes far in advance. They really want to test out any radical changes to the exam with plenty of experimentation and statistical analysis. So what this means is that you probably won't see any radical changes to the exam in the next year or two at least. I've been getting questions from current college freshmen and sophomores Will logic games be on the exam in 2024? 2024, maybe, but anyone taking the exam in 2022, 2023, I expect you will take the LSAT as is. Another question I've been getting is, should you take the LSAT with the current logic game section, or should you wait in the hopes that you might take the LSAT without the current logic games with whatever new format that LSAT might put together? I would actually recommend if you have the option to choose that you take the LSAT with the current logic game section. Reason being that there is a lot more practice material that you can study from. There are currently nearly 100 released LSAT prep tests, which means there are nearly 400 practice LSAT logic games that you can study from. There's also tons of free resources about logic games as well as premium resources covering logic games in depth with strategies, with explanations. My LSAT course, LSAT Unplugged, we have plenty covering logic games from ordering games to grouping games to combination games to rare pattern curveball games. We cover it all in live classes with on-demand video lessons, as do many other prep folks in the industry. And if you were to take the LSAT with a new bizarre style of logic games, of course, I will create new resources. Other prep folks will create new resources. LSAC will release some sample questions, presumably, but there won't be nearly as much available to you to study from simply because they won't have been around for quite as long. And there will be a lot of questions. And you probably don't want to be the first one to take the LSAT with the new Bizarre Logic Game Style section, since LSAC may have not worked out all the kinks yet in terms of modifying or adjusting difficulty levels. And again, there won't be nearly as much prep material to study from. So if you have the option and you're on the fence, you take it with the older current format or with whatever presumed new format there might be, I, again, I would take it with the current format. The other factor to consider is the context in which this change came about or this proposed change or presumed change is likely to come about. It's the result of a lawsuit with a sight impaired law school applicant. And it will, the lawsuit's settlement agreement language states that it will enable test takers to take a version of the exam without the current logic game section. And if we know anything from the LSAT, language is important. Enable means allow. It does not mean that it will require them. It does not mean necessarily that it will change the exam for everybody. It is actually possible that this change may only be available to those with special testing accommodations. So for example, if you apply for accommodations because you are sight impaired, then perhaps you can qualify to take the LSAT with a new style of logic games. But if you are taking the default or standard LSAT exam, you might take it with the current LSAT logic game section as it has existed since June 1991. So this change may actually not affect everybody. Of course, there are many still unanswered questions, more questions than answers. I'm curious about this, as are many of you, I would imagine. I will update everyone as I learn more, and I will, of course, let you know what LSAC says. They will notify everyone with plenty of notice to make any adjustments as necessary. 
I will keep you posted. If any questions, of course, please feel free to reach out to me personally, Steve Schwartz at help at lsetunplugged.com. Again, if you found this video helpful, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. Again, th folks, thanks for watching. I wish you all the best and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.